Yeah, absolutely. It was, a, it was a really good match. You know, I started a little nervous, but I got things rolling and was able to get a straight set win, and I felt really confident out there, especially toward the end. So it was really, really good start. And how important is it to win in straight sets early? You know, you're going to slam stage energy and move them out to zero away. Does that mean you don't have to? I mean, I, I think it's definitely benef beneficial, but it's not like a do or die, but it certainly helps. Um, well, the beginning I was serving well. That kind of kept me in it. I got down a break early, but and I wasn't playing great, but I was serving well enough to where it stayed competitive. And he gave me a slight chance at 5-3 serving for the first set, and then I took it. I broke him, and from then on out, I was in pretty good control. Uh, actually, my, my nerves let up in me a lot, and I was able to swing out and get in control of things after that. Um, and I never really got in any trouble. Um, the only service game I was in any trouble was it. 3-0 double break up in the third, and so I was already in a comfortable position, and he played a good game, but I was able to hold anyways and kind of uh, finish it out. Do you have a goal for this Open for yourself? Uh, I mean, obviously you want to, but I've got a really tough opponent next round, and uh, you know I know I can do well, and I know I can win this match if I play well, so it's going to be not easy, but I'm looking forward to the challenge. It'll be fun. Well, I had a good running passing shot, and, and it was a good, it was a you know not an easy shot, and I, I was able to come up with it. And then I played. Uh, he missed a couple first serves, and I was able to make a few solid returns. I think he double faulted on break point, so I think maybe the build up of just some good solid returning made him feel like he had to serve a little better. And then uh, you know he missed a few first <laughs> serves trying to go for a little too much. I did. I was in the stands, actually. I was like 14 or 15 years old. So I heard Agassi's whole speech after that match, too. Was that emotional? Uh, I think everybody in the crowd was tearing up. It was, uh, it was an impressive uh, speech and uh, one heck of a career. And did, does it feel weird to play the same guy? I guess you, you played the same guy today. Uh, I mean, you don't really think about it. Uh, I think that, you know, Andre's legacy is so extraordinary that um, I don't think it's defined by that match he played with Benjamin. Since Agassi and since Sampras, uh, Americans have been looking for that one American who can take their spot at the top of the rankings. Have you, uh, and people are saying you're the guy with potential, do you pay attention to any of the stuff being said like that? Uh, you sure? I mean, he hearing the good stuff is always <laughs> exciting. <laughs> but um, I think that uh, those guys have obviously had such extraordinary careers, and they've, they've done so well for U.S. tennis, and I've got such a long ways to go that uh, hearing, hearing stuff like that um, doesn't really come into play. I mean, I've never made third round of a slam, and then after that, you got to get second week, and then it only gets tougher from there. So um, the closer you get to the top, the more difficult it gets, and uh, I have a long ways to go. I do believe I can get there, and I'm going to do my best to get there. But, uh, you know, it's not e going to be easy. Does it help you got others like Soft and, and Johnson who suddenly are having a good tournament here? I mean, Sam, who I know nothing about, maybe you can tell me <laughs> something about him if I should know. Yeah, I've seen these guys. Uh, I've seen these guys all through juniors. Me and Bradley and, and Steve Johnson played each other all through juniors. Um, me and Jack actually never played until we were, we were pros. But... Um, I was playing with more of Klon and Johnson and Ryan Williams, the guy who played Andy, and so I know all those guys pretty well. Um, and it's really good to see them all pushing each other and playing good tennis. Uh, I think that once somebody, I think once one of them has a, a good win, then it becomes a real, like a realistic thing for everybody, and you start playing more composed and more under control, not not thinking that these guys are unbeatable. And so I, I certainly think that, you know, for a guy like Bradley. Um, you know, seeing Steve have the success he's had and to win some of the matches he's win, obviously he gets out there and playing good tennis. He's got one game to serve this out, so um, it'd be great to see another American go through, especially, you know, I think we've had um, four or five young Americans win a first-round match, which is great, especially for U.S. tennis, and to have this happening here, hopefully uh, it gives us a good chance. And I, honestly, I think that one of the best things about this whole group of guys is how... Uh, how determined and how motivated everyone is because uh, you've heard obviously the lack of work ethic and all the, the chirps so you want to hear about that but I think that 
uh, all these guys. Um, I can speak especially for Bradley and Steve that they work really hard. It's going to start with my serve. You know, if I serve well, um, everything kind of becomes a lot less, uh, I guess, uh, a lot less pressure on the rest of my game because I can dictate and then I can actually swing out on some return games and have a, a little bit of a crack because there's not as much pressure. Um, it's going to start with that. Um, and if things go my way, then I know that I can return well enough to where I can put some pressure on him. I play good defense, so hopefully with some of his shot making, I can make him hit a couple extra balls on some, some, you know, some of his service games. And, um, you know, like I said, it's not going to be easy, but I, I think that I have the game to do it.